All right, this right here is a cylinder head repair kit. It's under the help section in most auto parts store. You can see the part number is a 42025. And what this is for is this is Ford's uh, from 1991 to 2005 that had the Hemi type head. I think, I know it fits a 5.4 liter. I think it may fit a 4.6 and I'll let you know later in the video. But the idea is the spark plugs are bad about coming out of the heads and uh, they won't screw back in, they won't thread back in. And you'll know you're driving down the road and suddenly you hear and what it'll do is push the plug out and it'll actually destroy the boot on the, uh, the coil. The coil is actually mounted to the top of the spark plug. So we have, they have this little kit. I just want to make you aware of it. It helped me because I was struggling trying to get plugs back in and found this kit and it was real simple. So I'm gonna open it and show you what it does. The idea is, the idea is, is you can screw this plug into this and then you stick it down in the cylinder head and you screw this and you can see that it's actually got cutters on it and it will cut and make new threads. Then this spark plug obviously is going to stick out further than the previous one did because of this extra length right here. So it even comes with the boot. You just take the old boot off. Of course, it's destroyed anyway. And you stick the new boot on and, and then remount it. And that will solve your issue. And we're going to go put some in right now. And so you can see what it, what it looks like. Whenever it blows the plug out, you can see what it'll do. It'll bend that over right there. And you see it messes the threads up. And it does this to the boot. It will actually just destroy the boot. But <clears throat> you got your new... Uh, plug boot to go right back on and I'll show you what the uh, and you can see how tight it is up in here the one that blew out this time is right here and they say that these things will do this on their own but there's also but there's also um, they say it'll do it on its own but there's also I had somebody put plugs in this and then they started blowing out so I think he didn't get them tight and uh, there you go so you can see this right here is what the coil looks like and it just blew that so you'll undo this and there's a little thing sometimes they'll get wrapped in there and what I you can you have to twist it and pull it out and you can see that there's a, a little tab in there the new one obviously comes with it and you just pop that on the new one we're gonna start this up and let you hear what it sounds like you just pop that back on like that and you're back in business with that all right, let's hear what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like when your plug pops out. So if you hear that sound, this right here will solve it. And there you go. So on the outside of the kit is a 17 right there. We can use that and it's small enough. The problem is having something small enough to go down in the hole. If that won't work, then you can use a uh, this was a 9 16 which I would assume a 14 would do the same thing um, to go down in there and uh, just be careful not to torque the plug you know don't get the plug sideways where you break you know break the the, the insulator and there you go that'll fix it so I've got it down in the hole and I'm and I'm turning on it lefty loosey righty tighty so we're going to the right and it will thread pretty easily down in there. So I don't think it's going all the way down in there. And we'll, we'll change to the other thing. But they say that this, it is 4.6 and 5.4 liter Tritons. And they were saying that there's uh, some information that a lot of times it happens on three and four, which is the two back ones on the right hand side. Um, so I don't know if it's an over tightening issue or if it's a under tightening issue. And what I mean by over tightening is if you over tighten it and it tears the threads up, that could be the, the problem. We don't, we don't know, but we do know that this solves it. I just want to make a video because you panic a little bit when you get in there and you, you realize that, that you can't get a plug screw back in. 
and especially in our case this is a work truck we need this truck to go and those little kits you can buy them I've seen them at auto parts stores for about $57, $58 and I've seen them online as cheap as $31 so just different places but usually you're in an emergency mode so you need it right away you don't have time to wait to save some money and this saves an entire motor replacement so almost 56 bucks and I definitely wouldn't get crazy over tightening it but it is a tapered cutter type thread so it's cutting as it's tapering down in there and it just gets tighter and tighter as it goes and so far I hadn't had any of these to come out when we've used them to repair these motors. They've always done well. I feel pretty good about that. All right, so now we're gonna take our, our coal, stick it back down in there, and you can see it, I actually break that off. It'll break the where the bolt goes in. So the main thing is if it's on the, if you get it on the plug, In the electrical connection, you have to pinch the connector to release it. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's hard on the old man's arms. Kind of hard to connect that, line up that turn connector. Come on. The push button release goes down. feels like it's in place. All right, start her up. All right, so that is a smooth running motor. Now, another way that you can find out if you've got a problem with the plug, this as a test, is put your fingers on top of the coil, and if you feel it vibrating, the plug is loose. You can actually just feel it in the, in the thing. That one is tight, but you can actually feel it kind of rattling a little bit, and that's one way that you can find out. There you go. That's how you repair one. So she's a running smooth and we got her back going again thanks to that little kit so if you've got this and you've got this that kit will solve it